What is going on, flare fishing fam? There we go. That's a little break from the wind today. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, hey. Hi. How are you? Today, I am back in Nebraska. I drove 10, 11 hours last night and uh, got home around midnight. I said I had to come home for some business stuff. You guys saw one Texas vlog. I'm going back later this week. Don't worry. But I decided, you know, I'm here in Nebraska. It is 70 degrees and sunny in February in Nebraska. That's kind of nuts, and it's supposed to snow in two days. So I decided, got up this morning, drove two hours south of where my house is in Nebraska to fish some ponds because I heard the biggins are biting. So we get all my stuff ready to go, and uh, hopefully we can make something happen. It's the middle of the day. It's not probably the best conditions and best timing to be fishing, but figured, you know, get out on the water, film a video for you guys, hopefully catch a big in so the first bait i'm gonna start off with is gonna i'm gonna start finesse you know i'm not a huge finesse fisherman but given that it's uh you know still february nebraska i would assume the water is freaking cold still even though it's uh, pretty warm outside so i'm gonna start with this little little brown green pumpkin little finesse worm you know anytime it's it's sunny and this water is very clear you usually want to go natural so i'd either either use this this color right here this little little brown one or some watermelon but we'll see if we can catch a fish Well, I don't think they want this bait. I fished it for about 10 minutes. I'm just gonna keep cycling through baits till I figure them out. This pond's not very big, so I mean, if you don't get a bite within like the first 10 casts or so, you might as well just switch your switch your bait, cause I'm sure you brought it in front of a in front of a bass. This thing's the size of a, a swimming pool. So we're gonna find some other bait to use. So I switched to a Stanko green pumpkin weightless now it's super windy so you might be thinking why would you be throwing a weightless well this pond isn't that deep it's probably no deeper than 10 feet and so i mean even if it's windy the stanko will get down there to 10 feet in a matter of 30 seconds and so it's kind of just gonna be one of those floating around baits um easy meal is what i'm going for right now i'm thinking these bass are not going to be in the mood to feed yeah this water is still pretty icy pretty icy so i'm thinking they're going to be just want a nice, nice, easy meal, a nice little Senko to come down on them, and then they'll just munch it. So I've been out here for what seems to be like 17 hours, really probably like an hour. I've thrown a lot of different baits, drop shots, shaky head, jigs, chatter baits, and I threw my deeper out there, and it looked like it was about 53 degree water temperature, and the deepest spot's about 15, 10, 15 feet. So, you know, that cold of water, I'm gonna try this little jerk bait, see if I can make some, some magic happen, I don't know, it's been, it's been pretty tough so far, but I'm not, I'm not giving up quite yet. Oh, hi. How are you? You want to be in the video? Two hours later. Well, folks, I'm uh, in a boat now. Not 100% sure how I got here. That's Fire Pond Guy, though. I'm attempting to steer this thing. You ever try to steer a boat with one of these? It's not the easiest. But we're gonna start fishing. I'm at a new pond, I drove about 30 minutes. The other one sucked, so we're fishing We're fishing this one. Neither one of us have ever been here though, so I don't know if we're gonna catch anything. Hopefully it's better than the other pond. I'm sure the water's probably 55 degrees like the last lake. I'm gonna start with the chatterbait, not really sure why. Water's a little dirty though, so I'm sticking with the black and blue. Good old John boat fishing. Yes sir. It doesn't get any better than this. Nice day. See, oh, actually, it does get better. It's it's called catching some fish. If we throw that into the mix, today has been a good day. Probably should go with a black and blue stanko. Well, I'm switching to this this rig they call the stanko. It's a rig I've never fished before in my life. Lipless would be another th option. There's one. Oh, oh, come on, buddy. Yep. Yeah. Hey, first fish, boys. There we go, boys. First, first bass. I was almost about to quit fishing entirely, and then that little dude decided to mush the stanko. Not a big in by any means, but at this point, the water's like 40 degrees, 50 degrees. I'll take him. Fire pond guy. He's throwing jerk bait. I'm gonna stick with the stanko just for a little bit longer, but it's a, it's a nice little fish. See you, Jonathan. There's one. Oh, shoot. That was a fish. He take my freaking, oh, he took my stanko. 
All right, just missed one. Just missed probably a seven pounder. We think we found the juice. What do you think, Fire Pond guy? Think we found, found the, ju the juice? Think you found the juice? We own them. He's tying a, he's tying on a red lipless. So I'm gonna stick with the Stanko because, you know what? It's catching fish. Dude, I got a big one. Oh god, a tank. All right, you gotta come get the trolling motor. He jumped when he hit it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh dude. Oh, holy crap. Yes, son. Oh, oh my dude. He's like, he jumped out of the water when he just ate it. I didn't feel him or nothing. That a boy. Oh my God. Locked in at 3.30. Thought he was a touch bigger than that. He was fighting like nuts though. I thought he was like a six. Good there fish. you go. Look at that. Look at that butte. It's, uh, that's the fish we're after right there. These freaking uh, three pounders in, in February, in Nebraska. Hell yeah. Gonna get the, uh, the release on this old girl here. See you, Judy. I freaked out a little bit. Thought it was about an eight pounder. Turned out to be about three and a half. But you know, for me, that's pretty much an eight pounder. So, how do you feel about that? You excited? This is a good fish. You ready to catch some more? Hell yeah! All right, we're gonna we're gonna keep on we're gonna keep on fishing. Oh boy, boy! They might be loaded right there or something. Cause that was another one. Well, you, have a, you have a fish? It's all right. Oh, you do have. Oh, dude, yeah, it's a toad. You do have a fish. Oh, oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh my god! Oh my god! You got a big one. Wait, wait, a minute. let me grab it. <laughs> yep. There you go. That's a five. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my god! Here, take it, take it, take it. Let me get us out of the rocks here. Oh, well, Alec just caught a big one. So Alec just caught this freaking donkey. He didn't say anything, and then all of a sudden that dude just jumps. Four and a half. That's about right, four and a half, boys. Is we on them? Oh, we on them, boys. Drop the poles. All right, getting the release. What's the name of that one right there? Uh, Richard. Richard. See you, Richard. Richard. How do you feel right now? Feels good. Chatterbait fish in Eat. February. Oh, baby. In Nebraska. All right, so obviously I'm gonna start throwing chatterbait now. Just got a three and a half and a four and a half. And then a little guy. Not, not a bad day so far. Started off the day super freaking slow, but it's not bad now. Got to the fire, went to the fire pond with fire pond guy. How about that? How about that? You got one? Oh shit! Dude, you, yeah. you got one? Dude, it's a toad. It's another Oh god, all right. Dude, it's another... oh, no, it's not. It's not as big. I it's got another one. good fish. Yeah, that's two, two and a half. Yeet. Look at that. In the arms of the angel, fly. It just broke. It just broke. Boy. <laughs> it just broke his line and he took the chatterbait with him. Oh dude, that's that's just Boy. that's just a slap in the face. Take notes folks, do not do that. Oh man, this wind sucks. Well, cast it out and try and catch one. Alright, so we're stuck, so Alex Bright ideas. Grab the acre, throw it out, and then pull us out with it we'll it's see how it work okay let's see it all right we're not we're literally not going anywhere so we're not we're going backwards and i'm going full speed forwards right now so right now we're we're actually bank fishing because or not bank fishing we're, we threw down the anchor and now we're fishing because the trolling motor's dead and it's blowing 30 freaking mile an hour. It's actually gusts of up to 35 mile an hour. Yeah, gust, gust to 35. So we're gonna just basically sit and fan cast. We're kind of screwed. I mean, we were on the juice. It's kind of sucks because we were catching threes and fours and twos, but that's what happens, you know? It's windy. It's probably mid 50s. Yup, yup, yup. Yep, I got one. Did you see, hear that splash? Oh yeah. Oh God. 
Stay down, big girl. Stay down, big girl on the chatterbait. It's a good one. I don't think it's a giant. Yeah, it's a good one. Come here, buddy. Oh, son. Heck yeah. How come your line doesn't break when you do that? Because I hey, know how to tie a knot. Oh, hey. Actually, no, because this is actually not big at all. These fish, I'm telling you guys, you guys are watching at home thinking I'm freaking crazy and I've never caught a bass before. Well, that's partially true, but these fish are fighting like, like ridiculous. As we're just anchored up here, we're just fan casting all along and catching little one and a, one and a quarters like that. I thought that was like at least a two and a half or three. I guess I've just never caught a bass before. This is my first time doing this, guys. Thanks for subscribing and tuning in. Oh, well, he probably got a fish. Uh, there's one, there's one. That's two for two, baby. That's not a big one, I don't think. I say that and it's probably gonna be a six and throw my chatterbait. That is two for two. We are just anchored and just fan casting. Yeah, that's a little guy. Come here, little buddy. Where's your Where's your mom at? Your freaking grandparents. Just catching catching the flare fish. We started off strong with some big ones. Now we're now we're starting to downgrade. We gotta we gotta step the game up. At least we found the bait that they're eating. See, you, buddy. Swim bait. One. There's one. Yep, that's a big one. Big one. Big one. Get away from that. Get away from that. Oh, that's not a big one. But it's a good size one. Oh. Came off. That was my Senko. That just went flying. Dude, that was like a three. Yeah, that was a three. That was a big one. Well, guys, that's not how you land a fish. Learn from me. Wow. That sucks. That really sucks. I had him up and I was like, just about to boat flip him. He just popped. He popped free. I thought I had a good hook up on him, but I guess not. There's one. There's a fish. There's a fish. Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Come on. Come on, big guy. Come on, big guy. Get up in here. Look at that. We're about to we're about to take off. Chill, buddy. We're about to head home. Got about an hour and a half drive or so. We're just ending the day there on the little little ch 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 chatterbait fish. Whoa. Hey. Easy there, buddy. Having a good old time. Sun's going down. The wind's actually died down a little bit, enough to where we're, we can actually fish without freaking blowing into the into the reeds, but still catching some fish. We're gonna keep on fish, basically fish our way back to the, uh, the boat ramp. There's one, yep, there's one. There we go, baby. I don't think it's a very big one. Nope. Dude, this is the juice. Heck yeah, son, that's back-to-back -back casts. Because I'm the chatterbait queen, all right? You can't, you don't have anything on my chatterbait dog. You see this fish? Take a good, good look at it, all right? That's what a fish looks like. Stud. See you, buddy. No, it's dead. Oh, it's totally it. dead. I see it. It's got the lights on. Here, I, got, I crashed my drone. I'll go in the water if you guys don't want to go. I, don't I, don't water. I just don't want to fall down <laughs> I crashed my drone. Oh no, it hit the tree and just like... The lights are on. No, it's dead. I can see it. No, it's Gucci. Looks like you're good. Okay, maybe it is good. All right, well, here, get, yeah, give it to me. I'll take the battery out of it. Thank you very much for getting that. No well, folks, Peric, Peric moment of the day. What do you think? That was not good, pretty bad, kind of funny. No, it, this thing drilled a tree, and for some reason it just, <laughs> it like stayed in the tree. Like it got stuck in the tree and stayed in the tree, and I was like, okay, all right, I'll just maneuver it out of the tree. Maneuver it, flip, stays in the tree. I was like, okay, I'll get it, and it just, boom, right into the water. I don't know if you guys get to even see any of the dope footage or not. I don't know if the SD card's corrupted or not, but we're going to end the video on uh, that really, really bad note of not having a drone now. You see this fish? Take a good, good look at it, all right? That's what a fish looks like. Stud. See you, buddy. Wow, Flair, you're such an asshole to your friend.